government helping the youths? No, the government is not helping the youths. Now, who is going to help the youth? Government doesn't care about you. The people sponsoring the, the riots don't care about you. It's you now to, to, to cry, to cry about yourself. The bill is rejected by voting, only that. But you're going to the street to reject the bill that one cannot pass. Independence early doesn't mean that Kenya is now the most developed country. Actually, Kenya is the, among the least developed countries in the world. Hey, good people, welcome to Samok Safari. Today is another day. Today is a good day. Today is a bright day. Welcome to our channel. I'm representing this from Africa, from Kenya, and more so from East Africa. Uh, you see, right now I'm at this place here. You see, I'm at the farm. But before we proceed with what we want to do, I want to show you guys all I want to greet you in Swahili. Shkamo, Shkamo for my elders. This uh, when you say Shkamo, it uh, simply means the, the greeting that you give uh, someone who is elder than you and you are younger. And how do you reply? You reply, you say, Marhaba. This is an Arabic uh, greeting. You say, Shkamo, Marhaba. You understand? So this is for those, for the someone who is, who is a friend or someone with you, 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 your age mate. You say, Unandeleaje, Umeamkaje, Mambo Vipi. This is our normal uh, greetings. But in Nairobi, in Kenya, they say, Niaje. Niaje, you tell anyone. Even someone who is older than greet him, Niaje, I say, poor sana. So that's the greeting. So guys, first of all, I want to appreciate you guys who are really supporting my channel. People who are really watching my channel from, from the start to the end. People who are taking their time to comment. People who are taking the time to like, to share. That means you guys, you are really supporting me more than I can ask for. What, can I, what else can I ask for you guys? Nothing. That's all you are doing, all guys, to support uh, Samox uh, Safaris. As the name indicates, safari simply means the journey. You are traveling. I'm a traveler. I move from one place to another. In safari means a journey. So that's safari means a journey in Swahili. So, so I appreciate you guys, everyone who is doing this. But as well, I can ask you for one thing, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as to help me reach 1,000 subscribers, which is only something that I'm looking for. That's something that I'm in an urge to it. But I was not intending to talk about this, I mean, the farm and why I'm here. But I just wanted to, for you to be aware of the environment that I am. I'm at my farm here. So, guys, uh, someone asked me to talk about uh, what is going on in Kenya right now. Because there is this uh, generation they call Gen Z, the Gen Generation Z, and the government. What's happening? Generation Z... Uh, simply means those people who are born uh, from 2000 to now. You understand? That's what we call Generation Z. These are the people. First of all, I want to talk about these people. Then I'll talk what is going on. Uh, right now, you can hear there is these guys from 2000 up to now. That means like 24 years ago. These are the people who are in the street. Maybe some of them are in school. Some of them are still are in school some of them have just graduated recently some of them are looking for the job some of them are jobless they have no idea what's going on and then again these are the people the government just did what we call they want to pass the bill that's called financial bill this is the bill which has the high taxes you understand and the generation Z are in the street demonstrating to, uh, to anti that bill, to reject that bill so that it may not uh, pass. So this is what is it. So guys, I want to explain to you so that you understand exactly why I'm saying this. I want you to comment first. Just comment what do you think is going on in Kenya. Right now, so many guys are in the street trying to demonstrate, trying to give their option, their ideas about this government of ours. So guys, this is what it is. Yeah, I'm crossing this small stream here. So, uh, someone might ask me, where are your stands 
about this and this is what I'm going to tell you guys as for me I want you to listen to me attentively so that you can say where my ideas are and where do is where do I stand you understand so you can see this is a stream here I want to share with you guys you understand where do I stand and where to, what is really going on in this country I want to go somewhere there so that I can get the right base there so the government of Kenya uh, people are just rejecting what the government is is trying to pass because the financial bill is the bill that I cannot tell more about it because it's it talks about the government recommendation or the suggestion on a high taxing everything the government want to tax everything you understand I want you guys to open I want to open you your eyes so that you see or you understand what is really happening in Kenya and why you need to be with me I know this sign might kind of sound counterintuitive but just be can't attentive listen to what guys I'm trying to share with you you understand the wind is just blowing because right now uh, it's, 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 it's June heading to July and that's why you can see it's almost uh, in a dry season right I want to give you this analogy you understand the government of Kenya the president is saying because the president during his manifesto the president had declared the moment I got into the government I'm going to do all I can so that the government of Kenya can have some money and the government of Kenya can be stable that's what I will do this is what the government the president said before and most of us because we wanted the government to wanted to have a different government so we did not listen to him attentively we did not analyze his word we did not filter his information very clearly so that we can we could understand we were in a hurry so that because the moment we vote we wanted to vote to change the government we don't we don't even judge clearly we wanted another government we wanted another government that's what happens with most of us we don't analyze the manifesto very well so most of us that's what happens the government had the president himself had sworn in had had sworn the moment i catch that government i'm going to make sure everyone is paying the tax and that is what is in the that bill the government the president when he got to the government the government president made sure that he had captured every arms of the government legislature judiciary and the parliament of these arms three arms of the government the guy had have them so that means that's why there is that's the reason why the president believes in himself he's going to make sure that the bill, the bill passes no matter what so the generation Z knows that the, the bill is going to pass but most of them have gone to the street just to demonstrate to make sure they reject that bill but i'm going to ask where on earth have you ever seen people going to the street to reject the bill the bill is rejected by voting only that but you going to the street to reject the bill that one cannot pass i want to make sure to, to, to let you understand this and then where this do these young people the 24 years below are getting these ideas to go to the street to demonstrate to reject the bill where are they getting these ideas from this one from if you have an idea if you are very smart enough you're going to realize something or someone is behind these people someone is trying to make sure that the government is going is not going to pass the bill because if the bill passes himself his business is going to collapse because he's going to get to give out more of the bills and that bill is the bill now going to hinder the youth no the bill is just for everyone not only for youths the youths are saying that the government the, the opposition 
to stay away from it so that the, the youth can demonstrate uh, peacefully. Because we, believe, we have been seeing this thing going through uh, that the, the, the position and goes to the street, they destroy other people, they loot, they do all the kind of bad things. Now the government does this, they kill the people. You understand what happens. The, 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 the government reacts, the people die, they shoot people. That's what the Generation Z are trying to say. They are not into the opposition. But what they are saying, the youth, is, they are the ones to change what's happening in Kenya. But now I want to tell you guys, this youth, do they, have, do they have any idea of what is going on? I can simply say no, they don't have any idea. And why do they get the audacity to go to the street to demonstrate? That means there's someone behind the youths. There's someone sponsoring the youths. There's someone who is giving something out so that the youths can go to the street to demonstrate. So, who benefits now? Are the youths bene do the youths benefit on this? No, the youths do not benefit from this. Who benefits now? The person who is going to benefit are the people within the government. There are people in the government. Do you understand? There are people in the government who are sponsoring this riots demonstration. These are the people who give the street, give the youths money. And some of them, they just follow up to increase the number. But they, are, don't, they don't understand what's going on. Now, if these people in the government who are sponsoring youths, are they helping the youths? No, they are not helping the youths. Is the government helping the youths? No, the government is not helping the youths. Now, who is going to help the youth? The youth are going to help themselves. Because this country of ours, you can't get employment without knowing anyone. You can go to the street, you demand to change. You demand the change by going to the street. Nothing is going to happen. Trust me. Now, who is going to help the street? The youths are going to help themselves. How? The youths themselves by creating uh, the connections. And well, most of them don't have connection. By the going to the street, let me ask you, are you going to the street to demonstrate? Are you, are you going to get employment after that? No, you're not going to get employment. Because the people who are sponsoring you to go to the street to riot, these are the people who are going to fire you the moment they employ you. That means we got to do something. We got to do something, guys. For the youths who are like me, I want to, to help you guys. If you want to get what is going on, work on yourself, guys. Sometimes it's high time now, you guys, we work on, work on yourself. Working on yourself is about working on your connection, working on yourself, just elevating your grade, your, yourself, making sure that there is something you're working on. That's only your life can change. But don't depend on the government to change for you. The government, these guys are, don't have an idea about you. Nobody cares. President's daughter, she's rich. President's son is rich. The president, they didn't attend the schools you are attending, right? These guys, they, they attend different schools. They don't take care even who you are. This president doesn't, doesn't even care. The people who are supporting, sponsoring you to go to the street doesn't care. Because I don't believe changes can be brought to you by demand. Changes can be brought to you by just being the person you can attract what uh, you want. If you want to become successful, you have to create an environment to success. That's the only way you can change. Because let me let the government know to lie. The government is going to create em employment, the jobs, ways. No, the government doesn't care about you. The people sponsoring the, the riots don't care about you. It's you now to, to, cry, to cry about yourself. So, for me now, this is my point of view. I'm not supporting the government on this. Because the government is doing what they can to make sure that the people who are there, they are, they gov they are, their things are running. I'm not even supporting the demonstration. No, I'm not even doing that. What I'm doing, I'm just supporting you guys. You let us create more jobs. Because the government or the people in school, they just lied to us. Go to school, 
then you get jobs you are the you're the next leaders they lie to you guys you understand so we don't want to live like those guys because life is just that way life doesn't care you understand so for you now to be successful you want to get what you are rioting what you, you want to get why you what you are demonstrating for work on yourself and being working yourself things are going to change think everything is going to be okay because you can see some of people are being killed in demonstration these are youths the life young life you understand they are killing them because the government doesn't care even the person who sponsored you to go to the street doesn't care nobody cares you it's about your life yourself nobody cares about you guys no I'm telling you, the government doesn't care about you. Even the person who is sponsoring you doesn't care about you. Now, we may say now the opposition leader is a person who is going to help us now to achieve what? What do you want to achieve? The only thing you can achieve is your family, making yourself, your family lives better. Other things, forget about them. Because now trying to live the people's life, you want to, to live in other people's life, you want the government to help you. Now you become a victim. You are the third person of awakening. Because what you want to do, Mula Bebe, Sasa, video up. So what you're trying to do here is you're trying to blame the government because you are failing. You are trying to let the government and know that you are failing. You are, because you are all the blames you are throwing to the government why you are failing. Now this one is not going to help you. What are you going to help you? Is you guys to to come together if it's your family come together and analyze ask yourselves question why are you failing what why is everything not going right is the government going to solve your your problems definitely no is anyone coming to rescue no no one is going to rescue it's upon you it's you now to to, to die you for yourself you, you're supposed to be there for yourself. Nobody's going to do it for you. Demonstrating to the street, carrying billboard. No, this one is not going to work. Because the, today you're going to go to the street, they give you uh, a 1,000 Kenyan shillings, and then the day after tomorrow, that 10 shillings is gone. Because that one cannot even save your life. That small amount of money you're just, you, you're wasting yourself for. So, Stop, stop demonstrating. Stop even talking about the government. I'm trying to open your eyes. You guys, work on yourself. Because the rich people don't go to the street to demonstrate because they have all that. But it's because, because you are jobless. That's why you go to the street to demonstrate because you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose because even the government knows you're nobody to the, to the government. Because you don't have that value. If you die, the government is going to lose something. But you're nobody. Even if you die, nobody cares. Because you have no job, you have no career, you have you're just there. Because now, if you had employed yourself, can you go to the street, close your shop and go to the street to demonstrate because the government is doing that? No, even the government itself doesn't care. The government doesn't care. The government even can kill you. These people, you don't understand, everyone killed for himself. This is the government of Kenya. It's not the good government. Though it's not right for me to talk about the government, but I'm trying to tell you guys, nobody cares about yourself if you don't care about you. It will not change. Nothing changes for you. You understand? So, that's what it is. You got to do everything, all you can, to make sure that everything goes right for you. Don't depend on these people, the government people. They don't. So for Generation Z, I know you don't have any idea of what's going on. You're fresh from school. You have no idea. Even there are people still in the government who have been there in the government like for 20 years, but they still have no idea what's happening in the government. They're just there. They see things, people moving from one place to another. They don't even understand what is going on. Now, telling me you, you just graduated recently from school and then you want to change the government. People are lying to you. Guys, because I'm still so young, but I'm not of 2000. 
I want to advise you one thing, guys. If you want things to change for you, don't depend on people. Put yourself in, under in your responsibility. Don't, if you want things to change, don't blame people. Don't even blame yourself. Start from, from where you are right now and things will change. Because if you want to blame the government to do all these things for you, they don't even care. Because you're, you're wasting your life. You're wasting your life. I can talk about this because I also wasted my life because I was just blaming the government. I went to school. Now, I thought the government's going to do everything for me. But nobody cares about this. So for you guys, don't do it. Just do it. Just be yourself. Because you want to, you're the person who wants to bring changes. You want to bring change. You want to, <laughs> you want to bring change. You want to bring revolution. Yeah? You're the only, the next person who's going to bring independence. Right? Even if we do not fight for the independent, the independent could come. It could come late, but that's the, it, it was worth it. You understand? So, also trying to have independence early doesn't mean that Kenya is now the most developed country. Actually, Kenya is amongst developed countries in the world. We have countries that got independent recently, but they are richer, they are developed than Kenya, the economic powerhouse of Africa. You understand? So, you guys, you can't fight for people. You're not Jesus. You're not even the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. You're not that person. Why do you want now to die? Because you want to change the government. You don't have arm. You don't have arm. You don't have soldiers. Why do you want to change these things? These things cannot work for you. You got to be changed yourself, guys. Now, I want to advise you for the last time. If you want things to change, change yourself. Change yourself. Don't be in that small group of people. You, the small gangs, gangs, you understand? So, I used to was in the gangs. I used to be in those gangs. That's why I'm advising you guys. These things don't work. I was in those guys, in the, you understand? These bad people. I was there. But things don't change. Those work, guys. You got to do it because I'm talking from experience. You understand? So get out of the street. Start working on your projects. Create jobs. You understand? Create jobs. The government, don't talk about the president. The president doesn't care about you. Don't talk about, I don't know, your MPs. These people, they are mongrels. They don't even care about you because they don't understand who you are. You understand? So this does not make sense. So guys, if you now, I want you to help, want you to support me one thing, for subscribe to my channel, because I'm just vlogging. This is the way style I vlog, and uh, I was in the farm. I remember someone called me yesterday, say, Samox, could you talk about what the financial bill? Why these people are doing this? Do they have an idea why this is happening? I said, now I'm going to talk about it and that's what i've talked about it so for last day nobody cares about you not the government not anyone it is you and your life not even anyone things to change change yourself first don't forget to subscribe to our channel make sure you share you like comment and then to make things better for last now this is where i'm just heading to my place where i live because I uh, just wanted to talk this in a brief way, you see? Now I'm almost home. So till next time, guys, I want you to support my channel. Thank you, guys. I appreciate one love for everyone.